Hi, I'm Dor, and I'm back with another movie recommendation for you. If you've watched any of the previous movies I've recommended, I would love to hear about it. Please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Also, if you have any movie recommendations of your own or drink suggestions for me, please leave those in the comments as well, because that's how we grow, is by trying and experiencing new things. Right? So today I will be recommending Kevin Smith's film, made in 1999, Dogma. Dogma tackles some really heavy questions, but in the most lighthearted and cleverest of ways. Which is why I'm recommending to go with this one, Corona. It's a nice light beer. Goes down smoothly. So for your movie viewing pleasure, I recommend Corona. Cheers. Alright, as I already mentioned, this movie was released in 1999. There aren't too many special effects, but what special effects there are are quite cheesy. But that's okay, because we are not watching Dogma for the special effects. Um, I'm recommending Dogma to you because I actually really enjoy learning new things. Hearing about new things and experiencing new points of view on various subject matter. I am completely ignorant when it comes to religion. In order to understand that, you should probably know that I was raised in South Dakota in the 90s. My parents had split and my mom was put in a position when I was 11 that she had to come out to myself and the rest of her family. And it was weird. And in the 90s, in the Midwest, God hated gays. That's, that's just the way it was. There was one time when I was really young when I had asked my mom why we didn't go to church because my dad was Catholic and before my parents split he tried to raise me Catholic. And my mom had told me that because the church didn't accept her, she didn't accept them. And that was it. That was the last of it. We never discussed church or religion ever again. So... I grew up not having any knowledge of Catholicism or Christianity, excuse me, other than that God is in heaven, the devil is in hell, and there are supposedly angels all around us. So dogma was something that was introduced to me in, I'd say around 2006, when my cousin Chantal and I first moved in together, and she was incredulous that I had not seen dogma. And having watched it after that first time, I could see why. It's written and directed by Kevin Smith. And if you give it a try, if you watch it just once, whether you're religious or not, I think, I hope that you'll see what I see, which is that this movie was not written by a Sunday Catholic. This was not written by someone like me. This was not written to poke fun at anything. So having said that, I hope you'll continue with this recommendation. And I hope by the end of it, you'll be willing to give this movie a shot. So this movie is starring Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Linda Fiorentino, Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. That right there, that's the writer. He's the writer and the director. Also, Alan Rickman. With appearances by Chris Rock and Selma Hayek. So there's Bartleby and Loki. Loki is the angel who's in charge of carrying out God's will as far as smiting goes. So whenever God got mad at humans for their various sins, he's the one who took care of them. And he watched them. And he felt very, very sorry for the humans. And over a ton of alcohol, he tells Loki, Hey, these humans, they're kind of sad, so maybe don't smite them anymore. And Loki was like, eh, alright. This makes God very angry. And he kicks them both out of heaven, and he banishes them to Earth. They spend a millennia in Wisconsin. So one day, 
Bartleby is sent an article which uncovers a loophole in Catholicism that would allow him and Loki back into heaven. However, the re-entry to heaven comes at a very big price, which is the undoing of all of existence. He talks his friend into going with him because they both miss home. Who doesn't miss home when you've been banished from it for a very long time? Comes forth the Metatron, the voice of God, who taps this young lady right here, Bethany. Her job is to stop these two renegade angels from going into this church and unmaking all of existence. And the Metatron tells Bethany, you will be guided to New Jersey by a couple of prophets. That's where Jay and Silent Bob come in. To me, the most interesting part of this movie... I mean, sure, the plot is funny, and there's some interesting twists to it. Clever jokes. And that is what got me to watch it the first time around. But what keeps me watching this movie, what makes me watch it again and again, what makes me recommend it to you, what makes me invite friends over to watch it with me, are the questions that Kevin Smith asks through the characters. They're smart questions. They're interesting questions. And since nothing can be proven or disproven, I think that they're very intelligent and kind of important ones to ask. And he presents them in really funny and clever ways through really great characters such as Serendipity, played by Selma Hayek, and Rufus, played by Chris Rock. I think one of my favorite scenes in the movie is a conversation in a strip joint where Serendipity, a muse, played by Selma Hayek, tells Rufus, is talking to Rufus, the 13th Apostle, and Bethany, and she's telling Bethany that humans have it all wrong. It's not what you have faith in that matters. It's that you have faith. And that is a message that resonated very deeply in me, that I didn't have to have faith in God. Just having faith was enough. I still think that's an incredibly forward way of thinking, it's little moments like that that make me really enjoy this movie, that make me go back and watch this movie again and again, because the special effects are not particularly good. But it's the message that keeps me going back. It's the message that makes me want to pass this movie on to you and to many other people. As I said when I started this particular recommendation, this is a comedy about religion, yes. And... It is one that tries to pass on some interesting messages and thoughts. But you do not have to be religious or have a deep knowledge of religion in order to enjoy this movie. You just need an open mind to enjoy this movie. An open mind and a good sense of humor. I hope that you find some quotes that you really enjoy because I know I have some that I absolutely love. So if you watched this movie or any of the others, please leave your thoughts in the comments below, along with any other comments, concerns, moans, groans, whines, or complaints. If you liked this recommendation and want to see more, please like and subscribe. I beg you, don't drink and drive. If you're taking my drink suggestions, please be over the age of 21. Make good decisions, and I really hope with all of my heart that you enjoy this movie. My name is Dor, and I hope you have a good night.